In this video, I'm going to talk about the search functionality within Microsoft Edge browser. So I'm in Microsoft Edge. So that's the latest version of Microsoft Edge, which I have installed. And uh, from here onwards, I'm going to talk about search capability of the Edge browser. So how to search? So if you want to search for some text within your browser, then what you can do is like you can press Control F on your keyboard and you can find the text, okay? So if I want to find the word technical, how many times it has been used? So I can see that it has been used fourth time, four times. One iteration is here. If I click here, next result, then I can go into the second, third, and fourth. So that's how you can search. You can navigate up and down for the previous and the next result. And you can show all the filters as well. Like if you want to actually match the case, okay? So if you match the whole word, uh, or you just match the case. So if I just click on match the case, then I will not find anything which is technical. Uh, but if I make this T capital, then I'll be able to see four results. So this is how you basically search uh, or find within the uh, Edge browser. Now, alternative way, uh, what you can do is like I did Control F. You can do, uh, like you can also navigate from uh, the menu item as well. Uh, and then you can find the content. Now, the second option is uh, launching the search bar. Now, launch search bar. So what happens is like when you launch a search bar, you go to settings. From here, you go to more tools. And then from here, you go to launch search bar. Now, once you click on launch search bar, a search bar will appear. Now, this is not appearing within your browser. This is appearing on your Windows system. Okay, so if you see here the desktop, it is appearing on your Windows system. Now here, uh, if you click over here, then you will be able to see the settings and you will be able to see all the profile within your browser. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just search for something, okay? So if I search for my name, then I should be able to uh, see some information, okay? And if I click on this, then it will actually do a Google search and then any information pertaining to my, uh, inform uh, the keyword which I have typed in will be displayed. Now, again, this is like a Windows based functionality. So the search bar will appear within your Windows. So what you have done, you have triggered this through Edge. Now you can also trigger this Edge search bar in Windows uh, using a shortcut key. So uh, there is a help over here. You can navigate, you can find some more information. What it says is it's it gives you a quick access to search the web. Uh, if you click next, it'll say explore the world with many answers. Quickly find people, animal, weather, forecast, and more without opening the browser. So if you do not want to open the browser, then this is the shortest way through which you can trigger your search and then uh, it will open it in an Edge browser. If you want to see the search bar, you can press Windows, Shift, and F. It's that easy to start searching. Now, coming back to our... Uh, search functionality now what we can do is now we have seen two options control f and then the launch search bar the third one is uh, basically if you want to search for some more information in settings so if i go to settings then there will be an another search bar whereby you can search for the settings within your uh, edge browser so if i want to search for passwords okay so i can search for password and then i can navigate to the password page okay so passwords are basically, it allows you to store the password in the wallet. Now here I've stored a couple of passwords. Now think about it like if you have saved more than 100 password and if you want to search it, then there is an another functionality called a search password. So you can search by either by the username or the website. So if I search using, if I just type GitHub, you know, then GitHub related information would be uh, visible over here and then I can view the password. Okay, so this is another way to search. Now, let me close this. Now, here, if you want to search by websites, okay, which has saved password, then I can type in over here. So if I want to see Azure, then I can see that for dev.azure.com, I have saved the password, okay? So now we have seen multiple search areas. So you're searching the website over here. You are searching the password over here. And from this page we have come, which is the settings page. And here you can search all the settings, okay? So now we have seen search settings, search password, and search website, okay? Now, the, the last one is a command palette, okay? So how to navigate command palette is again, click over here, more tools and command palette, control Q, okay? 
Now, what is a command palette? So command palette will give you a quick uh, uh, way to basically search for various artifacts within Microsoft Edge. So now I've triggered command palette. Now, if I just put an escape, you know, then this disappears. Now, how to trigger it back either by going here, click on more tools and then command palette or control Q. If you do a control Q, then this search bar appears. Now, what you can do from here. So if I just type tab, okay, I'm just typing tab. I can bookmark all the tabs. I can create a new tab. Okay. I can navigate to the next tab. So if I click on next tab, then I have navigated to the next tab. Okay. So it's just one simple action okay, which you can perform. If you want to navigate to previous tab or if you want to search within the tab or if you want to move tab forward, you can all do from this particular single screen. Okay. Now, what are the other commands you can type? Edge. If I type edge, then all the edge flags which is present within my system, I can view it. Okay. So I can see edge GPU. I can see edge policy, print, predictors, profile internal, sandbox, tracing. Uh, I can see a whole bunch of things. So if I want to see edge tracing, then uh, I can open that tool and I can start tracing my request. Okay. So like that, we can do a whole bunch of things. So again, keeping control Q, going to the command palette. If I type window, okay, the moment I type window, uh, it will start showing me uh, something like I can create an in private browsing window from here. So take, for example, if I don't know the shortcut key for creating a new window or creating new in private browsing window or merging the current window into something else or switching to window, I can do all this thing over here. OK, so like this, I will be able to see all the information. Now, again, doing control Q, if I want to search something in history, again, this is a useful tool. If I just type H I S P O R Y, then I will be able to see all the history, uh, what all uh, website you have visited and what all things you have seen, you can find that in the history. Also, you can navigate to the edge flag from here. If you want to see the history, you can click on show history. Right now, next, if I type console, okay. Now, the moment I type console, then it will open uh, dev tools, okay. And then from here, from the dev tools, you can uh, clear the console history. You can show the console. You, you can see the panel. So if I click on panel, show console, then it will open the console as like it's kind of you doing an F2 well and going to the console. So if you don't want to do F2 well and start searching for console, then you can use this command. Again, control Q. If I type in reload, then I can reload my entire browser or refresh my screen. Okay, so if I click on reload, then it will refresh the screen. So it is equal to doing control R. Okay, uh, again, control Q. Uh, I can, if I want to see the recently closed tab and I don't know what's the shortcut, okay, then I can just type recently closed tab. And the moment I type that, it will open the recently closed tab. So this is also one of the way for which you need to, uh, which is which will be useful for you guys to, you know, just get to the command just by doing a search. Then uh, again, Control Q. If I type down, then I will be able to see all the downloads. I can see the download folder, so I can see uh, edge download internals. If I click on Show Download, it will show me all the downloaded uh, file which uh, I downloaded in the last maybe four or five days okay so this is the most recent one so that's why it is showing you this list and if you want to see more you can click on see more then the last uh, you can do a lot of other things but this is just limited to one of the other things uh, if you want to generate a qr code just type qr and then you can create qr code and then with just a click of a button you can generate a qr code and then you can either copy it or download as a an image and then circulate it among your colleague if you want them to access your website okay so this is also one of the quick way so think about it like if you want to do a qr code rather than going into extensions and searching for extensions and all those things this is a quicker way to access the information in microsoft edge so the shortcut is control q if you do not want to use the keyboard then what you can do you can go to more tools and then go to the command palette 
So uh, that's it, folks. This is uh, these are the different ways. So what we have seen, we have seen find on page, we have seen command palette, we have seen launch search bar. We have actually gone into the settings and we have seen the search settings. And then within search settings, we did a password. And then when we went to the password, there also there is a search bar for searching the password, searching the website. Uh, and also you can by default configure your search engine. Okay, so if you want to by default use the address bar as a search engine bar, then you just type search and then you can uh, start looking in for the address bar and search. So if I click on address bar and search, then I can say manage search engine. If I want Google to be the default, I can set it from here. Or if I'm a Bing fan, I'll click Bing. And uh, from here, you can configure various search engines. So search on new tabs uses search box or address bar. So if you want search box to be the default while searching through the address bar over here, use search box. If you use address bar, then address bar will solely behave as address bar. So that's it, folks. This is uh, these are the main productivity tools which you can use in Microsoft Edge to search contents. Thanks for watching.